I was so proud of this outfit <laughs> and then I just realized it's giving Sofia Ritchie. Hey, it's Luna and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a feminine, elegant, cutesy, girly summer haul. I normally load summer clothes, but this time around I'm actually super excited for this haul because I've been curating my wardrobe for summer just as I do the rest of the year and now I've got some amazing pieces to show you. I've been curating since the start of the year, so I'll link everything down below. Actually, I'm going to start with the white dress. I'm going to try everything on, don't worry. I'm actually feeling that white dresses are better for me in a shorter length. I really love a little white dress. Forget the little black dress, we're doing a little white dress. Whereas black dresses, I prefer it to be a bit longer. Here is the first dress. So we have a beautiful little white dress. I adore the way that this dress looks. It's a very stark white, which I adore. I feel like it really looks good on my skin tone. I really love the big, voluminous puff sleeves. And it has a bit of a cut-out detail over here, which I find very flattering and I don't know, it just adds a really beautiful element to this lovely dress. Also, the back is quite, quite low, which I also find really beautiful. As everyone can tell, I am incredibly pale, so if you have a bit of a tan, this dress will probably look even better on you. Or if you have a darker skin tone, I think this will look beautiful on you, but... As far as it goes for me, like milky, bottle, pale, um, I still think it works and I really love the dress. Before I'm going to move on to the other dresses, I am going to bring the attention to the shoes. So if you saw my closet organization video, you know that I have trouble finding shoes that aren't black boots. But this time around, I found these shoes from Jonak Paris. They're very much Chanel inspired shoes, but they're so comfortable. These are black slingbacks, these are more flat ones, and these have heels. They also have the black ones with a bigger heel, if that's more your preferred style. They honestly go with everything. They're so comfortable, and yeah, I'm very, very happy that I ended up buying these. I think I've been looking at these for quite some time. I think they had them last year as well, and then I didn't go for it. So really happy that I finally took the plunge and got some uh, shoes for summer that I don't have to wear my <laughs> black boots anymore. I mean, I'm gonna miss them, but it's time to move on to summer clothes. Okay, up next I have this gorgeous dress from All Saints. I'm very iffy about prints normally, but I'm actually loving this so much. The way that this fabric moves and flows is just incredible. It's a really thin material, it feels like you're not wearing anything, but in the best way possible it just feels really nice and airy. It doesn't feel sticky and sweaty. Um, and that's really good because the weather here in Belgium has been so hot as of late. It's been going crazy. So having something that just really, I don't know, it's just really easy, breezy, lightweight. It's just wonderful. The fabric kind of gives me the vibe of almost like a Baroque or Rococo painting. I don't know, like my art knowledge isn't that advanced, but it just gives me like painterly vibes. I don't know, it's just really beautiful and it's so, I don't know, I'm just like touching the fabric the whole time because it's so soft, I should stop doing that. I was so proud of this outfit <laughs> and then I just realized it's giving Sofia Ritchie. That was not what I intended to do at all. Um, I do think it's great that um, Sofia Ritchie, her elegant style is kind of uh, having a moment because I do love elegant fashion and I do like seeing more of it and hopefully we're seeing more of it in stores as well instead of just unwearable pieces. But that's not why I got this top. I got this top because for me this is an elevated basic. I love that it has a flower over here and some ruching details. Frilling details? Not ruching. Frilling details over here. It's just really beautiful. It's easy to throw on. I paired it with a pair of black shorts of mine as well as the shoes that I was showing you before. And I just feel like this is such a easy but put together outfit. I'm actually going to make a small leap and move on to accessories. So I got these two belts I really want to show you. So they're both from Massimo Dutti. I first got the black belt and then I was like I'm going to get the brown one as well because it's so beautiful and at this point in time I've actually worn the brown one more. I just really love how easy it is to elevate an outfit with such a beautiful belt. Those belts were actually very reasonably priced. The only thing is I got an extra small in both of them. And I got some extra holes punched into them because they weren't um, tight enough fitting around my waist for an extra small, so keep that in mind. But yeah, it's just a really easy way to add some extra spice to your wardrobe, to your outfits. I just really love a good statement belt. And these are just so 
elegant and timeless. So I might as well accessorize this immediately with my new bag from Marsh. I love this. This is also kind of reminding me of the Celine bags with the logo, although I do just... I don't really care about <laughs> designers as in like I want to have something that looks like a designer. I do just have pieces that I find beautiful, but the designer price point, I just think you're indeed paying for the brand instead of the quality so i try to look for something more reasonably priced that still has quality and this bag from marsh definitely has that it's beautiful it claps open like this and then voila it fits the phone it fits my essentials it's so beautiful i really love the clover detail that's what i love about the celine bags i really love the gold hardware detail i think it's so beautiful and it's three leather and i think it's really reasonably priced However, Marsh was doing on their website a... Wait, hold on. Marsh was doing a sale on their website that if you bought two items, you get 30% off. So I've been looking at this bag since the start of the year and I, I just didn't want to pay full price. So I looked up the cheapest item that they had on the website and those were like frilly socks. So I ordered some bougie frilly socks. They're incredibly soft and comfortable, by the way. So... That's nice, and I guess you can also just really vamp up a pair of shoes with a nice frilly stock. But I got a really nice discount on the bag. They also have this in a quite a fleshy green color, which is also really beautiful. I think it would make a summer outfit really pop. I was really in <laughs> two minds about that, but yeah, this is a really timeless baby, and I love it. I really, really love it. If you're a fan of puff sleeves, we're having more puff sleeves. It's from the same brand as the white dress that I just previously showed you. It's from a brand called Tessa. I hope I pronounced that right. I've never heard or shopped from that brand before, but I'm pleasantly surprised by how feminine and girly and elegant their pieces are. And this dress is so incredibly comfortable and cute. I really, really adore this. I love the neckline. I really love a bit more of a square neck. I find it way more flattering on me. I love the way that this dress fits. It's so incredibly cute. Let me just uh, take the hat off because it's way too hot. I don't know why I'm filming this when we're having pretty much one of the hottest day of the years, but okay. Okay, a little bonus for this dress. I actually am giving you another styling option. So I added my red coach bag because the red and the pink kind of are in the same color region. So it really seamlessly goes well together. And I added some white sneakers. These are new white sneakers from Steve Madden. Listen, as much as I love sling bags as much as I love sandals sometimes you just need a sneaker if you're going to do a lot of walking and for me these still feel quite as elegant as a sneaker can get I'd say you won't catch me a new balance they're just not my cup of tea but these ones definitely fit with my personal style they don't feel too heavy on my legs which I like and yeah I definitely feel like it makes this outfit like really easy and a bit more city can I hear a bit of commotion for the dress I am obsessed with this dress. So this dress is from Sandro, um, same company realm as Marsh. I love both Sandro and Marsh. They really seem to bring out stuff that I always really enjoy. What I really love about both Sandro and Marsh is the way they cut their items clothing wise just feels like it always fits so well on my body. <laughs> and I'm really happy. And that's why I'm always looking back into their new in or what they're doing because I'm just obsessed with the way they cut their clothes. It just fits me really well. I find the way that this dress is made so beautiful. We have the amazing gold buttons. We have amazing stitching details. It flows really, really beautifully. It's elegant. It's timeless. It's... It's everything. It's everything. And I can as easily wear this to the office as I could wear this out with friends. I'm just... Oh my god, I just love this dress so much. It's chef's kiss. This is just everything I love in clothing. After seeing it online, I'm like, no, I'm not going to get this. I don't need another black dress. I don't have to, I don't need anything from Sandra. And then I was in the store. And then I, yeah. Then I fell in love. It's, it's truly what falling in love felt like with this dress. It's just... I'm just, I'm just digging it. You can tell how happy I am and just excited and yeah, I just, just love it so much. Maybe you already spotted the yellow bag in the corner of my room. No, not the Miffy bag, the other yellow bag, which is this Swarovski bag. I 
bought myself a Vega Street, which is this Swarovski angelic necklace that I've just fallen in love with. I've never spent this much on a jewelry piece ever, but I just, I just couldn't. I kept seeing it. I kept seeing how beautiful it sparkled and I just fell in love. Again, I fell in love. It's, it seems to be a habit with my clothes that I just keep falling in love with it. But look how beautiful it is. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. I love how it just sparkles. <laughs> I feel like a little goblin, like, oh, look at these little sparkles. But I'm just utterly obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. I got this rose gold color and I feel like it looks really incredible on my skin. And it's so fun to wear individually, but also to layer. And it's just stunning. Okay, your girlie loves black clothes. So... There had to be more than one black clothing piece in this haul. So I really enjoy the way that this has cutouts on the details. I guess we have also a cutout detail theme going on. The white one had cutouts at the side as well. And this one has a more prominent cutout, which I find really beautiful and flattering. And it's just a bit of airy room. <laughs> and it's just a really lovely long maxi dress. It just moves really nicely, you know? Like... It just, I don't know, I'm just vibing so much. I'm having so much fun showing you these pieces. This is what the back looks like. It just kind of moves the cutouts further open to the back. I'm also really happy that I just created my wardrobe in time for summer this year because this just means that I'm so excited to wear my summer clothes instead of just having to pick something out just for the sake of it. What I normally do with summer is I kind of wait until last minute and then I, it's, it's a really hot day and I'm just kind of like getting by instead of getting dressed. Whereas now, we're getting dressed, we're serving looks, and we're having fun. Whereas, it's important to feel good. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you know where that was from, the sprinkle, sprinkle reference, I love you. My friends, don't forget to hydrate when it's a hot day. But, okay, the attention grabbing piece, I would say, is the pink flowy skirt. I don't know whether it is this Barbie movie coming out very soon that has been kind of nudging me towards more pink items, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's very cute. It really reminds me of like my old ballet uniform I used to have when I was a kid and I did ballet classes. It really reminds me of that, so it's giving me some, I don't know, it's healing some childhoodness. I don't know, I'm just really smitten with how it looks. The skirt is also lined, which is amazing. So we have no see-through accidents and it's also longer at the back, meaning again that it's really great lengthwise and it's great for twirling. Size-wise, this skirt is from Naked Fashion. I got a European size 32, which is an extra extra small. I've noticed in Naked Fashion, I prefer to size down because it fits me better on my waist and it's really beautiful and really cute. They also came in other colors, so if pink isn't your cup of tea, there were a lot of other colors available. I also thought a couple of prints were available, really cute. The other part of this outfit is the white bodysuit. It's from uh, Abercrombie. I wore it in my last video, which was um, wardrobe organizing tips. I highly recommend you watch that video because I'm really proud of that video. I think it's a really great one for everyone to watch and yeah, this bodysuit is really beautiful. It's an extra small. This also came in a few other colors. Um, I think a lighter brown and a darker brown. So yeah, it's really beautiful. It's kind of giving me ice skating vibes as well, but perhaps that's because of the shoes that I paired with it. And I don't know, this might be, this might be my fit for watching the Barbie movie. <laughs> my sister is going full god and I might just go full girly. I think that would be a very interesting combination. So yeah. Really, really beautiful skirts. And this was the last of this haul, but I have a surprise. If you've made it to the end of the video, I wanna thank you so much for watching, but I told you I had a surprise coming. So this fit, this outfit that you're receiving is a sneak peek from the upcoming Zara haul that I'm going to do. And I've got some amazing pieces to show you. I've been very selective what I spend my money on, and then I'm going to share with you that I think is worth it from Zara. So that's summer haul is coming up as well so if you don't want to miss out on that feel free to hit the subscribe button i would love to have you back and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're doing well bye bye